Yo guys, I'm HP. This is Dr. Pink. Today's topic is advanced Mixolydian blues guitar licks. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button. Also got an HP Crazy Guitar t-shirt. Check below. And what are we talking about today? I'll show you. Yeah, it's about using the mixolydian mode in a blues guitar situation. In this case, it's a straight blues and not a shuffle blues. And this creates the opportunity to play these long, you call them lines, because they're long lines. And we're going to check out um, some ideas and the concept behind it, because the goal is, you know, that you get freely in your playing and also by switching the, the, the chords. And that's the most important thing you need to know. <coughs> when you're going to play Mixolydian, it only fits on the specific chord. As a, This is an example, um, or a backing track for exercise just with A7, D7. So we're switching between A, a Mixolydian and D Mixolydian. So that's what we're doing now, today. So let's get started. Yeah, the most important thing I already mentioned is that you're now playing adaptive to the chords. So we have, a, as I said, I created a backing track for practice, two bars A7, two bars D7, so you have a lot of time to really um, refer to the chord which is just played. So, first of all, you need to check out the Mixolydian mode. I prefer to do these three note per string modes or patterns, but you can also check that take others, but these are these ones are really quite handy because they also give the opportunity to, to connect between two positions on the fretboard. Example, I use two basic patterns. So this would be the one with the root on the E string here. This is A7 mixolydian, three in upper string. We can also continue up here. So, playing this, now we are using, using the other position, so we, we are covering now this part of the fretboard, see, from the 5th till the 12th. Now when we take the other version, the one with the root note on the A string, same thing here. Now we're covering the entire thing from the 5th fret till the, what is this, uh, the 17th fret. So we're covering the whole thing and then up here it starts again. That's why I use these two main patterns, but of course there are other patterns available. And what I'm talking about here, but is basically working in these two patterns. So now we're taking, for A, we're taking this one here in the low position, root on the E string, and for the D we're taking the other one, that will be this one here. Same as up here on A, but now on D. So this is now the grid where we're moving around. So why, will, why are we using modes? A lot of people think now I just play them up and down. But that's that's not how they're used. The main thing about mode is orientations. You know? So now we need to find out the chord or the target notes. In this case we have A7. Here we have the root notes. You count through one, two, three, four, five, six flat 7 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, flat 7, 1. 
So these are the intervals and now we need to find where is the one, the three and the five, that will be the root, the triad, the fifth, also the flat seven here. So this will create a seven chord. It is embedded inside this pattern. And that's the grid where we are starting to move, okay? Same thing here, one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one, two, four, five, six, flat seven, so one, three, five, seven. So by just getting the root, the chord notes, you can already start to play something quite cool. As you can as you can hear it's really simple and also another um, myth buster playing modes doesn't mean you have to play fast well you can of course but you don't need to it's about as I said orientation and getting the target notes so now in blues <coughs> the main thing in blues is always approach note the approach note on the triad so this will be here the C sharp. So the approach on is the C. So you play root, approach not to try it, to 5 to flat 7. Now suddenly it starts to sound like blues. Okay, let's see how that works. You can also go in a higher position from here. See, now it starts to sound like blues. The approach not on the triad is, is the main thing when you want to use Mixolydian. Good. So. A lot of licks or a lot of ideas start exactly with this approach note. I'm taking now the, <laughs> the higher approach note here to the track. So I'm going approach note on the triad, then on the root, flat 7, 5, flat 7, 1. And now resolve it probably here on the fifth. That works. Then you do the same thing here. So you do the same lick and you just transpose it to the other chord. This is the main framework how you create your mixolydian licks in blues, okay? Always approach not on the triad. In the patterns you need to... F you can transpose the whole thing, of course, in the upper position if you want, you know. You know? Or even higher as you like. As I said, you just need these two patterns and you cover the entire fretboard. That's why I really love using these two main three note per string patterns because, as I said. Good. Now, the cool thing now is with this idea, you can, as I said, you can create any kind of, you know. You can also use all the notes from the mode and you know to to connect um, those those target notes the, the core notes a little bit but you always come back to this approach note on the triad it's also possible to have an approach note on the fifth but uh, that doesn't sound so cool but it does also works sounds a bit more jazzy but 
the most common thing is approach note to the triad. Good. So that's the main idea. Now within this, we're gonna check out what kind of cool licks come out of um, this main idea. And one of my favorite licks is <laughs> So, what are we doing here? Well, we can also do like this. So, we have, we are here in this low position. I take now another position. Here. Approach now to the triad. To the, now you move out the chord and now you make approach onto the fifth. This creates this chromatic run. Then we continue. And here we make an approach note to the root. So we start on the approach note on the triad and then we just continue till we get back to the root. And from then there on we go to a more common thing. Something like this. The same thing on D would be like this. Let's see how that sounds. So I'm playing it in 60 notes, but you can also, if it's too fast for you, you can play something more easy going. Also works. I can mix it slow fast. Also works. Yeah, that is all the same really cool and it really works nicely same thing and just move it through the chords um, this results also in this cool little um, little lick here I, this one is one of my favorites because it's so easy and so effective and looks great on the fretboard because you run up the fretboard this one here so, what are we doing here? <coughs> we are doing mixolydian with the approach not on the triad. Then we go to the fifth, we play the sixth, and then the whole thing starts again. That's the figure. Same thing here. You could also continue if you want. Let's continue until um, then we cover three octaves. That's cool. Let's see if you have time for that. Works. Oh, yeah. When we go to D, now we are with the root note on A string. Pretty similar. The same, the same um, figure. But now it's a little bit hard to continue. Well, you could do in one string. Cover. You could do one, one thing if you want to cover the three octaves, but maybe then you take another fingering. I try something, but that's not really necessary. It's just for the for the guitar nerds among you if you want to cover three octaves, but two is also cool, you know. effect you know running up the fretboard and it's it looks really effective and uh, but it's really simple you know yeah what also is cool and 
that will be the last idea for today is um, doing you know double stops <laughs> like this. Again we have the approach note on the triad, we go to the chord notes and then this little, this is the A and move it down two frets. Same thing here in green. Really cool. Let's do that. Just because it's easy to play doesn't mean it's a bad lick. It's I really love I, I love this lick. It's really nice and effective and um, try to make it as sound as nice as possible. Like make this vibration. I do chicken pick on this here to get uh, the simulation of a slide guitar. See, so chicken pick is with a pick and using a finger and then giving extra vibrator by pressing against the guitar. See, that's, that's also a technique, you know, creating the sound the way you want in a specific situation. That's even more useful technique than playing fast, you know, that you can... Cont I always teach my students you need to control the tone and not uh, play fast. I mean, yeah, if you can play fast, it's cool, but uh, tone control is <coughs> way more important than playing fast. Good. Now we can put the whole thing together. The thing is, uh, you know, these things have to, you know, mix up somehow smoothly. And let's see if we just put things together now, see what way. <laughs> licks that doesn't mean you have to play lick after lick you can use them as fillers and then in between you just follow the targets n target notes as shown at the beginning and create a really nice vibe and, and a nice melodic thingy and then fill it up with the licks I'll show you <laughs> guitar mixolydian blues guitar licks i hope it was helpful for you it looks a bit easier than in fact it is but once you got the trick it's really simple it's just seeing the grid seeing the the grid on the fretboard and as i said with these two patterns you cover the entire fretboard from octave to octave and that's the cool thing 
So that's a good way to start, but it doesn't mean you don't have to know the other positions or the other patterns. You know, they, they start to move inside themselves smoothly, but you need to have a, like a main grid where you can work with, and these are these, are these two patterns. Yo. One more to say. Um, if I'm going to write down a few of the things I just spoke about. It is available as tabs, plus this um, backing track with two bars A7, two bars D7, that you can really practice this in peace without the stress of, uh, you know, knowing where, when is which chord, because when you play a regular um, blues, you also have the, the E7 chord, of course, sometimes even other chords, but the regular blues is with A7, D7, E7, and it fits for all chords. They're all mixolydian, but um, the main thing is A7, D7. That's the one which is the most important thing. Yo. Yo, the files will be available for download uh, in my Guitar Academy. Please join there with a free member account in order to download the stuff. You need a premium member account. And please also get a cool t-shirt. Link is in the description below. Yeah, and please share. If you love this channel, please share it to all your friends. really would help me to... It's always hard to get um, traffic in these days. <laughs> So um, you can also share if you love what me and Dr. Pink are doing for you guys. Yo, that's all we have to say for today. See you guys. <laughs>